Now granted, the color change is a little different because of the fact that I have foundation on my lip. So when you put foundation or concealer on your lip, it's going to change your color a little bit. I know. I still look a little shiny. It's okay. The cornstarch for me, I will tell you, it does work with some things better than it works with others. And it's not to say that you cannot still use your powder on top of what you're doing. Okay, now that was weird. Okay, I got more of the first part of the pigment when I first opened this bad boy because right now it's got a lot of oily. It's got the glossy, glossy part of it going on now. So let's put this on the top. tell you exactly how I hate the word anal as an anal retentive but oh well I used it I've used it I've owned it whatever and in the past I will tell you if I have if I have messed up the line on my lip I have taken a, I've taken whole faces of makeup off because my lip didn't look right I don't do that anymore. I know how to pinpoint it now. When I first started doing all of this mess, I learned how to just, you know, fix things as it went along. Like I said about the cornstarch, it blends into your foundation. It's not going to change the color. You know, you can powder your face with whatever you powder your face with and still use it. You can put your blush on and still, you know, bring it down a notch or whatever. So, I'm going to use... I know it doesn't go with my lipstick color. That's fine. This is all intents and purposes. All this is is to show you what it can what it can do. Now, I have this bright orangey blush that I'm getting ready to put on my face. Right there. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this is how I wear my blush. I put it on my temples and I bring it around into a C. Plus, I was told by the lady who trains the makeup artists in her region and so on. She just took one look at me and she was like, you would do better in the Coral family. I was like, oh, okay. So, I'm just seeing 
what it is, what I have here. And because this blush is going right on top of the cornstarch I already used, it gives it a kind of, you know, a little something extra to stick to to just kind of blend it out. And I'm just blending the blush as it is. Of course, I would not go out the house with anything this deep going on. And the only reason why it looks like this to you is because I'm on camera and got these lights and whatnot going on. So, that's that. And plus, you already know, and I've said this before, I, excuse me, am not a blush person. I'm just not. Now, I have this powder here, which is my invisible oil blocking powder and it's yeah its ingredients are silica uh, kaolin as in that clay and dimethicone so it has all of that good stuff in there I'm looking for titanium dioxide no not in this one interesting Now, it says here that it may contain the bismuth oxychloride. And it, you know, oh, yeah, there is a tiny titanium dioxide right there. Okay. Anyway, no biggie. It's just a, you know, just a powder. I'm going to use my same blush brush here. And I'm going to dip it right down. Oh, this is the e.l.f. Uh, angle. It's a bronzing brush. Whatever. I use it for blush as well. It doesn't matter to me. I like angle brushes as far as that. Or I'll use a big... Where is that darn thing? Hold on. Did you see that? Um, where is it? Is this the one? I don't think this is the one. No, that was not. It was right next to me. I'll use big brushes like this. I am definitely going to have to go back and look at this this video because I don't know what you saw or what you didn't see. Oh my god. <laughs> I had to edit that part out. Anyway, because I don't know. I don't know what to... I don't know what you saw when I reached over. Alrighty then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because um, if you must know, under the t-shirt, I am all natural. That's how I roll some days. It is what it is, kids. If I flashed you, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> these days, I don't want to flash myself. I'm telling you now, <laughs> just, just not cute. Okay. But, yeah. Big brushes like this, I have been known to put on my blush with. And because they're so big and so fluffy and so on and so forth, I don't it's not overdoing it because it's like a, just a little tap tap mm, and smooth it out. So I'm going to take my Elizabeth, big old Elizabeth Arden right now and do this. Take some of that excess off. I can't upload this video today without editing, editing it. So, yeah. Okay. But, yeah. That's the excess part of it. Yeah, and it blended it in a whole lot better. But, and I'm going to take this brush and apply the orange on top of it again. Right there. I'm not going up. Just right there. It's amazing how we say we're not going to do something, but we do it anyway. Like that little quick moment. I did the same thing when I was trying to tell people how I take my makeup off because we're so used to going like this instead of going in. Yeah. So, yeah. No, it's like no sooner than I said it, I was going out. <laughs> Go fig. All right. Now, got my bronzing thing loaded up and I'm taking it and I'm putting it over the blush. And then working it in. And you will see, like, the fine dust and stuff. Particles coming up. That's okay. 
Because that would it do, baby. That would it do. Okay. Now, I'm going to tighten up because I want to see how it looks without using a mirror. But, yeah, that's my, that's the blush. That's the, br the, the blush and everything. And that's what it, having the powder and everything. And usually after all that good stuff is over with and so on and so forth, I will go back in with a big A fluffy brush. Yeah.